I'm Sean of Team OAP, and in this episode, we'll be taking on one of the most common misconceptions in the Philippines, the mysterious Taal Volcano. We're here at Club Alai Isabel, where we can ask somebody who's actually grown up in this area to help get to the bottom of this mystery. Let's go. That's very, very common because when you see in the postcard, uh, they will always point to the, we call it the Binitiam Malaki, you know? That's the volcano-like formation at the uh, if you view the, the, the volcano from, from Tagaytay or reach of Tagaytay or from Talisay, the, the volcano-like formation on the extreme right, they will point it as the volcano. But actually, that was portion of the volcano that erupted in 1911. The whole island is a volcano now. We call it a volcano. It's a volcano island. After a helpful and very informative conversation with Mr. Nelson, I decided the best way to get a grasp on things is to see the volcano for myself. This is my club sandwich. <laughs> a little bit messy, but wow, it's delicious. Actually, yeah, that's really good. Alright, so here's our destination. I think it's uh, our hike up to the crater, so can't wait to get started. We set out our trek early in the morning, and already the bugs and the heat were almost unbearable. Alright, so on this trek, be sure to bring lots of water, and make sure you take your trash with you. Don't litter on the ground, because nobody likes a litter bug. After about a 45 minute hike, we made it to the mouth of Taal Volcano, where inside is this is legendary Crater Lake. Alright, and the best part about it is you get to hit falls off the top of the mountain. All in all, the adventure was an amazing one. My guide taught me about the rich history of the area, and most importantly, I learned the truth about Taal Volcano. After a long trek up a volcano, this is how you end a perfect day. With a big bowl of ice cold halo halo. Sarap! Perfect. Okay.